Today I will give you all the information you'll need to know about the new passport application, requirements and DFA appointment tips 2019 here we go. New passport application, requirements and DFA appointment tips 2019 part 1 every international journey begins with a passport. It's the most important document you need when traveling abroad. Fortunately, while it is often difficult to get an appointment, the application process in general is simple and not complicated at all. Here's how to apply for a passport. Philippine Passport Requirements 1 Confirmed online appointment You will need to secure an appointment from the DFA Passport Appointment website. More info in the how to section below. Only the following are exempted from needing an online appointment. Senior citizen and one companion. Companion must be an immediate family member. Otherwise, companion must show proof of travel arrangements with the senior, plane ticket or hotel booking showing they're traveling together. Person with disability and one companion. Companion must be an immediate family member. Otherwise, companion must show proof of travel arrangements, plane ticket or hotel booking showing they're traveling together. Pregnant woman. If pregnancy is not visible yet, medical certificate or records must be presented. Minor 7 years old or below, plus their parents and minor siblings solo parent and their minor child. Valid solo parent card must be presented. OFW, both land-based and seafarers. Must present any of the following, valid IDOLE card, work visa, employment contract, or Siemens book stamped at international border less than 365 days from date of application. If you're eligible, just head straight to the courtesy lane or OFW lane at the DFA office. Otherwise, you need an appointment. 2. Accomplished application form Often, the application form is to be filled out online. When trying to schedule an appointment, you will be asked to complete the application form, which you can print out after payment confirmation. But if for whatever reason you need a blank copy, i.e. those who will use the courtesy lane, you'll find a PDF file here. Print it out on A4 paper. 3. Birth Certificate PSA Authenticated. Original Copy. Printed on PSA Security Paper. 4. Valid ID Any of the following is accepted. Just one will do. You need both the original and one photocopy. SSS slash GSIS Unified Multipurpose ID, UMID, LTO Drivers License Professional Regulatory Commission, PRC, IDOWWA or IDOLE card voters ID or voters certification from the officer of election with dry seal PNP firearms license senior citizen ID, if senior, school ID, if student, 5. Personal appearance of applicant at the DFA office, the staff will be taking your biometrics, photo and fingerprint data, so you need to show up. There's no getting around it.
Even if you course your application through a travel agency, you will still need to appear in person at the office. Possible additional requirements if you're a married female using your spouse's last name, an original copy of marriage contract. Must be PSA authenticated and printed on security paper. If the PSA birth certificate is not clear, a copy from the local civil registrar. For specific cases like those who are late registered, have no birth certificate, are naturalized Filipinos, or are dual citizens, additional documents are required. For a more accurate list, visit the DFA Consular website. Please note that the above list is for applicants of legal age. There is a separate list of requirements for minors. How to apply for a passport 1. Schedule an appointment online. The first thing you should do is set an appointment. Do it early. Don't apply a month before your target travel date. Because of the volume of applications, the schedule that they might give you is way too far away. For example, if you apply online in early July, they might give you a slot in late August, if you're lucky, or September. Here's how, go to the DFA Appointment System website. Choose whether you want to start an individual appointment or a group appointment. Don't forget to tick the box saying that you have understood the terms. Select a DFA office. Ideally, choose the site that is most convenient for you. Don't think about whether or not they have slots yet. Just choose one. You'll be able to change it and scan other sites later on. Click Next. Pick a date and time. You'll be shown a calendar. The earliest open date is displayed on top of it. The dates in green are up for grabs. Those in red are full. Now here's the tricky part. It might be hard to see empty slots. You can try other slots. You can try other sites or come back later. The DFA has done measures to improve the system, of course, but it can still be tough. Here are some tips, sample appointments. Schedule keep refreshing. Just because you don't see an open slot now doesn't mean there are no slots forever. The system refreshes regularly. Slots that were held for applicants who failed to pay in time open up eventually. 
Try searching at around 1 to nn and 9 pm slots are usually made available at these times, Mondays to Saturdays except holidays. Search other sites. In Manila, there are six sites, DFA Central, Asayana, DFA NCR East, Mega Mall, DFA NCR North, Robinson's Novaliches, DFA NCR Northeast, Alamal, DFA NCR South, Alabang, and DFA NCR West, SM Manila. If you're really desperate, you can also try regional offices. Be decisive. Slots can go away in an instant. You might be eyeing a date one minute, but it's gone the next. When you see an open slot and you like it, take it fast. Morning slots are usually the last to fill. Make sure you have reliable internet connection. Because the slots will not wait for your page to load. They can disappear fast. Once you have chosen a slot, the system will reserve it for you for 15 minutes only so make sure you finish the next steps quickly. Note, online appointment is free. What you're paying for isn't the appointment but the passport processing fee. 2. Accomplish the online application form. You will be automatically taken to the online application form, which has four pages, personal information. Your name, birth date, contact details, etc. Family information. Your parents' and spouses' names and citizenship. Application information. Your application type, citizenship, and emergency contact person's contact number. Contact information. Your home and office addresses and numbers. Again, the system will reserve your chosen slot for only 15 minutes so you have to fill out the form fast. Make sure you have the information you need ready before choosing a schedule so you can enter them quickly. Important, when entering an email address, use your free Gmail account. The system seems to be incompatible with custom addresses, even if it's also Gmail. I first tried using my business email but I did not receive any email which should contain the reference number. It was not in my spam folder either. I couldn't pay for it or cancel without it. I had to wait 24 hours for that schedule to expire so I could try to schedule again. I used my Gmail account and got the email finally. I don't know what the issue is exactly, but that's the only thing I did differently this time around was change the email address, so that might be it. You will be asked to review all the information you entered. Make sure everything's right and then submit the form. If you find IT helpful or educational kindly hit like, share, and ring the bell. Comments down below for more videos and updates and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day ahead.